Yo, yo, it's Small Mouth Crush. Beautiful spring day. We're gonna go chase some big old largemouth. You guys get to come along. Let's get in the boat. Hey, first off guys, I appreciate you taking a look at my video. So I have a brand new DSLR camera that I'm using for the first time during this shoot. And I got some bugs to work out. So you're going to see a little fuzzy whiteness around the edges sometimes. I do apologize for that. And I also noticed I'm going to need a some type of protector for my mic uh, to shield it from the wind. So we're going to get those bugs worked out on the next event. Alright, so today I'm fishing with my buddy Jack. Uh, Jack and I fished a couple tournaments. Uh, it's been a while actually. We fished a tournament last year right out here. We had almost 25 pounds and got beat. We took second place. We got beat by Mr. Centaur, the local stick here. And there he is. What up? Hello. Here we go. Where are we going today, Captain? We're going to my favorite spot. Oh. It's three minutes away. Of course. That's what we always do. We got 50 degree water temps, so I'm doing a little cranking. Jack's gonna be throwing the jig. I mean, we're gonna do a lot of different things today, I'm sure. So I just got my boat back. I uh, was getting some work done to it. So I haven't been on the water in over a month. So I'm just really getting accustomed to what the conditions are like. And they're really starting to shape up exactly how I like to catch them. So we use a variety of plastic baits today. Uh, some finesse plastics and we did a little bit of cranking as well this time of year I really like to to throw plastics but I love to throw crankbaits and if you look back on some of my other videos uh, that I did last year in the springtime on the Chesapeake you'll notice that I do quite a bit of crank right, guys we got hooked it up is. here we'll cut kind of a decent fish yeah it's a nice one. Oh yeah look at this one man Keep it down, keep it down. Look at that. Got it. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. That's a good one. Told you we'd catch him there, brother. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's a good four and a half, maybe. Yeah, for sure. So a lot of the finesse baits were, were shaky head type of baits. Believe it or not, you could drop shot in here. I didn't do it. I'm kind of a fan of drop shot, and I actually didn't drop shot today. Most of the fish came on uh, Texas rig plastics, as well as shaky head style plastic baits. And just working on the bottom really, really slow. This little area that I was fishing is pretty close to a major spawning area so this is a staging spot these fish will be in this zone for another week or two waiting for that water to warm up just a little bit more so they can start moving just a little bit shallower so we caught quite a few fish deep you know 15 12 to 15 feet of water and every once in a while we'd get up a little bit closer up on the flat there and we would throw a crankbait and get bit as well so the fish were really in anywhere from four feet out to 15 it seemed and it'll vary day by day based on the conditions of course we had to go through quite a few fish every once in a while you get a nice 
three plus pounder, four pounder, five pounder. But a lot of little guys in there as well, which is pretty normal since this is a, a major staging zone here. Was able to get a little rattle trap action going on, which is a real key bait this time of year as well. Wasn't a whole lot of grass around. This is mostly a hard bottom. If there was, I'd be able to rip that through there a little bit. Jack was just sitting down enjoying a sandwich when a little finesse rig out there got, he got a bite. Dog. Smalley! Smalley? Are you kidding me? Wow. Hey, Smalley. First smallmouth of the year for you. Beautiful. How about that? I'll take it. Yeah. Well, we're waiting for the water to warm up a little bit. It's 48 degrees. It has some good fish. I mean, we're catching fish. It's just, uh, we're waiting for that magic moment here, which should happen today. Water's warming up. It's a pretty nice day out. I was actually pretty excited here. We didn't get on camera the previous catch, but it was a real nice fish pushing five pounds. And uh, I had this, this fish bit right in the same area, so I thought maybe it'd be another huge fish. Well, we got a few fish this morning, some pretty good ones. And uh, I was hoping to get more on like a jig bite because this time of year a jig bites really really good and a lot of times I like to use like a green pumpkin or black and blue depending on the water color and with water temps in the high 40s like they are right now my trailer of choice this time of year has always been pork and I know a lot of you guys have been looking for a good pork product now that Uncle Josh really isn't making any I can't get the old pork that I used to use and I came across a company called Leather Baits and I just want to show you the trailer here. It's, it resembles a pork trailer, but it's actually made out of leather. Isn't that crazy? And what's really cool about this is it actually, it lasts extremely long. It holds scent really well. Not only that, it's not going to dry up. Remember the old pork trailers that we used to use? You'd fish them for you know half a day, put your rod down, maybe fish a different technique, come back to it an hour later, and it's all shriveled up. These actually stay true. So here I'm just flipping that Kitek jig, and I'm using the Leather Baits trailer, and it's working out really well for them. I actually found them on Tackle Warehouse recently. They um, they just started selling them. They're in like the new uh, new baits category. There's a nice little video online about them. You can go on their website, it's leatherbait.fish. And they have a variety of different colors. Uh, they have the blues, of course the green pumpkin, and then they also have some red, which would be great this time of year as well. So I would encourage you guys, if you're looking for a substitute, I really like the action. I'm gonna show you guys, see if I can get a little bit of action in the water and show you how this bait actually works down there. Get the calmer. Oh. Get 
got him. another good one. We got a real good one here. What do we got here? Oh, man. oh he's off. <laughs> so we tried to get the we tried to get the camera on that one. So I played him a little bit. And he got off. That was a five, five pounder. Well I would say that the fish were cooperating today. I mean we caught a lot of fish and I think if we uh, stuck to some of the areas that we knew produced fish this time of year, we went exploring a little bit today as well. Uh, but we did find a, a few new areas Another as one. well. Sure do. Let's see if we can get this thing. We just, we're being careful with the camera oh, angles. He's a good one. Nice fish. Wow. How so, big, big is that one? Five. God, it's huge. Guys, the action is heating up. It's only going to get better in a couple of weeks. I mean, these are pigs. Yeah, that's it's close to five and a half. Good job. So we ran back in next to the launch and had a, had the fish just a little bit longer since the bite was so good. And of course, they were biting here too. A little bit of cranking, some finesse baits. I mean, that's not bad. It's a solid, solid little guy. So it's a good I mean, you can see we're still running shad wraps. Uh, water's, what is it, 52 now? Warmed up to 52. So 48, 52 degrees, all pre-spawn. It's only gonna get better. I'm super excited. Not bad. Lost one. Yeah, I mean, we, we have 22 pounds today. Easily. Not a lot. I don't know how much we actually got on footage. But we had some issues. Jack's new with the camera, and Sorry, guys. and uh, some of the areas we didn't really want to show the background, only because we fish here a lot. I don't believe it. I guide here a lot, and um, so we tried to get the footage when it was just fighting close to the boat, things like that. Not to give up areas. You guys appreciate that, I hope. Not that it's a secret. They're all community holes. Yep. Don't show them the background here, man. It's <laughs> the little cut that's going to have fish in the springtime. Alright, so we're just wrapping it up. We're still getting a few fish, but I think it's time to go. We, it's been warming up. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of fish. Actually, the shad are starting to spawn in here. Uh, water temp in this cut yeah. is 45. You got one? Yeah, yeah. You got him? Yeah. There he is. Oh, oh, it's a good one, dude. Another good one. <laughs> Man, that's as good as the other one we caught. Yeah. Power, I'm telling you, man. It's unbelievable. Leather, bait. Leather baits. It's a four. Yep. Beautiful. We'll be there in the tournament, brother. Thanks, nice Larry. He'll eat another day. I'm telling you, this spot is unbelievable right now. That's Man, what a day. So the big fish started to move up in some of these cuts. I mean, we're still weeks away from the spawn, but it's just that little bit of, of fish starting to really get into that spawning mood because, I mean, really, I mean, we have 30 degree nights. It warmed up a little bit. It's only, it's probably mid 50s right now. But that water temp, man, that sun hitting those rocks and the pilings, just warm that up and those fish moved in and we I mean we we hammered them it was fun it's a lot of fun today all right so I do have a couple days in April still available if any of you guys are within an hour or two of the Chesapeake Bay and you want to book a trip with me check out my website travismanson.com all the information's on there you can email me uh, find out what days are available and it's only gonna get better April May uh, it's going to be awesome here coming up. So certainly, if you're interested, uh, take a look at take a look at my website. All right, so that was it for today. Pretty successful day. Oh, it was wonderful. Don't you think? Ain't all, buddy. It was fun. We caught a lot of fish, a lot of big fish. It was an awesome day. Glad you guys could come along. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave any likes and comments below. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.